All right, welcome back to Drum LCK. My name is John, and today we're hitting part three of our Joe Morello Method series. And once again, we have my good friend Sam Ruttenberg here with us. What's up, man? Hey, John. Thanks for having me. And uh, just Great to, to be reiterate, here. if uh, you guys haven't seen the first two parts, Sam's perfect for this because he was a student of Joe, Joe Morello, and he actually co-wrote Joe Morello's uh, second book, right? Right. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Yes, there, there so, was a... So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so that was today, a real uh, honor. We're going to keep working through stick control, but today you really wanted to get into, you know, how to get your feet going, which a lot of people are always asking about that hi-hat foot and how to do more than just two and four. So it's perfect. Right. Yeah. So, so um, why don't we just jump right in right there? Great. Great. Yeah, um, so what I did with uh, Joe, he was always, uh, you know, working um with me on um, stick control book and the substitutions, uh, right equals something and left equals something. And you can, with the different um, um, uh, uh, exercises, you have all these different patterns. Right. And, you know, when I do clinics, people would say, well, you know, how do I get my, my left foot, you know, more active than just playing on two and four yeah. uh, when I'm comping, um, when I'm doing, you know, uh, playing, playing brushes or sticks and, um, you know, Joe just gave me uh, some great material. Um, sometimes he would give me things, um, that, that were, were his idea and other times he would, you know, I would elaborate on what he gave me. So this was something that I elaborated on this. So this was kind of my creation awesome. and what I'm doing is, um, I'm playing, um, swing on, on the right, uh, hand and um, the bass drum is is the right, the uh, hi hat is the left, and I'm playing them as swung eighth notes. Awesome, very cool. So is this all, are we going to be working off that first page of stick control again? Yes, on right, that cool. first page on stick control page five. So we have this. Okay, so your, but your feet are going right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Exactly, which is number, number one. one is just mm -hmm. right, left, right, left, right. Exactly. So again, your 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 left foot is not playing on two and four; it's playing on the upbeats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. So so here's the caveat: I put a, a snare drum ghost note in between. And then it becomes something that is is more rhythmic than just playing. Uh, yeah, you have this. So it, it kind of sounds like, um, and correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think you end up playing like complete triplets from through the exactly. kick, snare, and hi hat. That's right. I'm going. Yeah. Like yeah, that and that's what that. it is. That's what it is. So the second one would be this. Like that. Yeah, yeah. So again, you can imagine you go down and you're playing all these different variations. So number two, I mean, number three is instead of this... You have this. Like that. So, um, well, that's awesome. I, I, I want to go practice right now. <laughs> this video. Right. Uh, and I, um, I showed that to Joe and he said, yeah, that, that's a great idea. That is a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. So again, you can just go down number five would be their paradiddle. So again, you just have, without the ghost note in between uh, on the snare drum, you have this. And then with the ghost notes, you have. Like that. So you yeah. can just go down the line and, and, and. <laughs> It, it, it just makes for a lot of interesting comping. Yeah, that, that's actually really, 
Really cool. So thinking about that first page, one of the questions that jumps in my mind, um, if you could demonstrate, <clears throat> I think it's maybe 13 numbers where it's right, 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 uh, fours. Right, 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 left, 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 left. Yeah, so... So... Yes, like wow. that. Right. That's... And that's a great exercise. Yes. Sorry to put you on the spot, but you no. nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Um, I know what I'm working on today. Right, right. Yeah, so exactly. great exercise. So again, if we took, if we go to the brushes now. Okay. And again, just... Forget, forget the in-between note. Now we're just going to play, you know, the swing pattern. The swing pattern and use the feet. This is number one. Number two. Three. Four. Five. Oops. Oops. You know, yeah. and then so and down the line. So this is great, you know, material for for brushes. Now, uh, just real quick, just because most of uh, our audience on this channel uh, are rockers. Right. And I don't think they I'm, I'm sure a lot of them do, but I, most of them probably don't have much brush experience or, or knowledge of brushes in general. Yes. Could you just kind of like in 60 seconds or less kind of explain how why you were holding the brushes the way you were and what you were doing with your left hand there? Yes, very good. Um thanks for asking that. Okay, nice. so a lot of drummers will hold the brushes like they would traditional grip or matched grip, mm -hmm. you know, like this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold them traditional grip and I'll go Uh, yeah. um, so again, I like to play he I like like a rocker, I like to play hard when I'm playing when I'm playing uh, with brushes. Now you can play soft. Again, what I did with number one. And what I'm doing is I'm going around in a circle with my left and then playing with the right this way. So I'm going one towards me is, is towards me. Two and four are away from me. Oh. And you want to make it so you're not bumping into yourself. I mean, I know, I know this is just very basic, but for anybody who does, hasn't played brushes, you want to start with the left hand at 10 o'clock and the right hand at sort of five o'clock and move in conjunction so you're not bumping into yourself. So watch one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. And that's just, yeah. And that's just, you know, little Phil's playing. Um, well, I know, I think I know what your next lesson on the channel is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, man. Thanks. Um, so um, yeah. a, another thing, if you're playing fast, see, so when I play, I had a friend show me this way. <laughs> I know it's unorthodox, but for right. me, it it's it really feels great because it feels like I'm it feels like I'm I'm really playing into the drum like I would play a conga drum. Right. It feels like I'm I'm pushing. So I'm here. Yeah. And yeah. it ju it just it just feels better that way than me being on top like this. But that's yeah, just a I, personal thing. 
Yeah, and and the main thing, like, people get crazy about grip um, and technique and stuff. And, yeah. you know, in certain, in, like, in the drumline world, the grip needs to be one way and it can't change because everybody got, has to look exactly the same. But in the drum set world, everybody's different. It's art, right? You it know, is, and I'm so sure. glad you said that, John, yeah. because I... I myself, you know, I'm, you know, getting, getting up there in age. Um, and I'm thinking, well, you know what, this is the way I play. I've tried so hard to make it like other people play. Um, but I have my own ways now. And I yeah. just, I want to, I, I, I accept it now. I, you, and you have to accept the way you play. I mean, like, all my life, I know I'm getting a little off topic here, oh, but all my life I've written, I've written, I'm a right-handed guy, at least I thought I was, and I've always written like a lefty. So I write like this, like okay. a lefty would. Mm -hmm. And people would say, oh, you're a lefty. And I would say, no, I'm a righty. Um, <laughs> and then I got with a, I, I have a friend and he saw me uh, write my name and he says, no, Sam, you're a lefty. You're, oh, and he, wow. this is a guy that studied physiology. Oh, wow. And I also have a, a student that's a doctor. He's the medical examiner for the tri-state area. And <laughs> he, as, as a matter of fact, he's coming today after this. Uh, nice. And um, he, he saw me sign, sign my name this way. And he said, Sam, you're a lefty. You, you know, you got to accept it. So, okay. All right. um, and I always wondered why some things were harder with my right hand than they were with my left. Sometimes I squeezed too hard mm -hmm. and, and didn't relax with my right, uh, you know, and I, I kept thinking, why, why is that? Why is that? I'm a righty. Um, so I've had to work at relaxing my right. And I also do this when I play. First of all, I play over here on my, you notice that I wasn't playing over here. Yeah, that's what Bernard Purdy does. He does? Yep. Wow. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm in good he company. He does it on like a china. He keeps a china there that he uses as a ride. Great. Yeah, cool. I love big symbols as, as rides. And I, I like yeah. big symbols as crashes too. Right, that's too. why I have two big symbols here. Yeah. So sometimes I turn. I know people are going to say it's crazy, but sometimes I turn my wrist around when I play. Now... So I do this a lot. When I'm playing a role, you can see I'm not out, I'm not straight. I turn it around a little bit. So that's, is that considered a you know, um is that German grip? Is that no, considered? this is this is something that I made up and it's actually <laughs> but it's actually a grip that um clave players use when they hold a clave. They hold it with the thumb under and they hold it this way and they play sideways. Yeah. So they play like this. One, two, and three, four, two. You see my right hand, uh, yeah. how it's moving sideways instead of this way. Two and three. Four, yeah, it's similar to traditional four, grip four, being two, a turn, three, not a bend, right? Right. So it's it's kind of this way. And I, you know, I'm a percussionist, so I play tambourine, so I have to shake it sideways. Right. So it has it has other other implications. I've also found that when I play drum set, here's another thing. I, I play my right hand out like this mm -hmm. instead of playing like this. And that has great implications because now when I'm out like this, You're out of the way, this is completely free and I'm not bound by this. So yeah. I'm out here. You know, that's so, exactly what uh, Travis Barker. That's exactly really? what he, he puts his uh, hi hat way up and he keeps it out wide and, and he keeps so his he arm keeps out. His, right. His whole arm going, you know. Yeah. So for me, it again, as a percussionist, I have had to play marimba this way, because when you play marimba, you have to get yourself you have to get yourself out of the way of your other mallet oh, coming yeah. around or else you're going to you're going to you know, catch yourself getting, um, um, locked up and, and in your way of, you know, yeah. in the way of each other, each, each stick in the way of each other. Absolutely. So for me, it's, it's worked. Um, and I, I'm at the point now where I'm saying, Hey, you know what, this is me. I'm, I'm accepting it. It works for me. And, um, you just have to do that. Everybody's different.
my main thing, man, is, you know, if I close my eyes and it sounds great, it sounds great. That's right. You <laughs> know, whatever be, it takes to get the job done, you know? Exactly. I mean, you get a lot of people online, you know, that'll say, hey, what's what's with you playing sideways? And, you know, and w w why is your thumb uh, uh, down a little bit? My thumb is down a little bit because when I when I hold here straight around, I have a tendency because of me, because of me, um, I grip a little bit too hard. So mm -hmm. if I if I l relax my thumb down a little bit, it helps me relax a little bit and hold the stick looser. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So uh, I I mean it's it's been a lot of years. I've I've struggled and I've I've said you know oh I I want to try and do it you know the right way you know but everybody's got their own way of playing and if you if if you feel more comfortable doing it one way why not same with my brushes i feel more comfortable doing it that way you know it, it just yeah. works better for me because i feel like i can dig in more absolutely mm -hmm. i mean it now, makes total sense to me man i'm so glad yeah. I'm, so, uh, <laughs> I'm so glad you said that yeah the whole thing about grip everyone that's that's uh watching here you know you need to get a good sound that's that's key and and I think the most important thing is if you're going to mess with your grip, if you're going to like change things up, just make sure it doesn't hurt, you know, because we right. can drummers, our job, we're taking a piece of wood and we're smashing metal and uh, whatever the drum heads are made out of <laughs> and, and yeah. wood. And we're just hitting them thousands of times over and over again. And you can really injure yourself with carpal tunnel, yes, tendonitis, all sorts of things. Um, so if you're going to mess with your grip, just make sure it works. Right. You know, I know Gerald Hayward, and he played for Beyonce and Michael mm. Jackson. Nice. And he has carpal tunnel. He holds the stick like this. And he's one of the best drummers I've ever wow. seen play in person. And he holds wow. it like that. You know, Carmen Apice holds the stick like this. It's probably because of carpal tunnel. Yes. And I've seen him do that. And yeah. he's, had, he's one of the best. Yeah. You know, and why, why can't he? Why can't he hold the stick that way? Yeah. So, you know, and those two guys are great examples. They probably did things the wrong way before, which is why they're injured. And then they have to change it a different way. Right. But we want to make sure we don't hurt ourselves before we right. get there. Right. The um, most important thing is holding the sticks loosely. I, again, it's so important. The whole body relaxed, right? right? And, and that, again, I mean, not to promote the hinge sticks that I invented, but I'm just saying that they do promote um, uh, and help uh, drummers understand the concept of a loose grip yeah. and even when you don't have them in your hands i'll tell my students hold the stick looser hold the stick looser you'll you'll be able to go faster if you hold the stick looser and you won't have fatigue you won't yeah. you won't you won't injure yourself yeah i love the hinge sticks like as a teaching tool thanks i actually have them you might be able to see them like right there <laughs> um yeah both pairs and that french grip pair i really like oh i'm so glad yeah yeah. Um, and if you if you guys don't know what we're talking about, um, I actually did a review on our channel and you can get hinge sticks. It's just like a tool to help you learn proper rebound and grip. Um, they're great. Uh, is it hinge sticks dot com? Yes. Hinge sticks dot com. That's yeah, the website. Go get them. <laughs> great. 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 Thanks, All right, John. So let's. Great. Uh, so moving the on. Substitutions, right? Yeah. The substitutions. So these are bass drum substitutions that Joe Morello gave me. So let's see if I can explain this properly. Again, we're going to look at um, the, the stick control book, number one. These are eighth notes. It's, it's written eight, as eighth notes, number one. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Um, all eighth notes. But I'm going to play 16th notes okay. when the right occurs. When the right occurs, I'm going to play that on the bass drum. So we should have like a da da boom, da da boom, da da boom, da da boom. Almost, because it's going to sound like constant 16th. So it's going to be like this. And that is the bass drum substitution. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So it's like uh, not a double. It's actually. Well, it, no, it's not a double because the, the, the rights occur on the one, the two, the three, and the four. So we have one E and a two E and a three E. And then I continue with the left. Say so right, left, right, left, bass drum, left, right, left, bass drum, left, right, left. Yeah. Bass drum, left, right, left, bass drum, left, bass drum. That, 
you know, you know, um, I'm actually writing my second book right now on linear drum fills uh-huh. and that, right. That's what it is. That's, you know, that, that's it. You could just, you can do you so much my mind because I'm Thank writing you. a book on this. Wow. I didn't even realize wow. I could just grab stick control and yeah. Figure yeah, out the that stick way. control. There's uh, again the the it, the thing about the stick control book and the syncopation book. I have found that they are timeless because it, it, they leave so much to the imagination. If you're cre- if if you just have you know some creativity and yeah. think, oh, you know, maybe somebody will steer you in the right direction. Maybe these things that I'm you know that we're talking about will help uh, you know uh, some of your viewers think, oh let me try this or let me try that, which is what I did with Joe. Yeah. And you know, it can, it can spur on imagination. That's the thing. You know, imagination is the most important thing. Heck yeah. Yeah. So number two would be this. So one, the, and the, the rights are on the, and so one, So I'm, I'm, I, I think I might have done it backwards. Yeah. Yeah. And number three would be this. Number so all the right hands are now bass drum. Are bass drum. And you're filling every other spot. With 16th notes. Every 16th subdivision on, with 16th notes on the snare. As if I'm playing alternating strokes. Right. Exactly. Yes. So I, I went, oh, for number three, I went one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. That's a good exercise. Right, right. These are great. So number four would be this. Number five is this. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. So it's, I love that. Th- right. These are great exercises. You go all the way down the line and you have a, 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 a lot of, a lot of good stuff, you yeah. know, for fills and, you know, and, and for rock, this is great for rock. Oh, I mean, linear drum fills. That's what's in right now. And all, right. all those Instagram videos with guys and, and gals going crazy fast on the fills where you're like, what the heck are they playing? It's all linear, linear stuff because you can get linear stuff really fast <laughs> yeah like yeah really you can get fast. linear stuff really st- really yeah. fast and and this is perfect for that yeah you know what i, I you so know, I, hope, I hope i explained that all right did, it, did i mean I? I i i'm excited okay so thinking about it myself how yeah. i would go through this i would get it just what you did on the snare and then as soon as i felt comfortable there i would try to do like beat one snare beat two rack tom beat three floor tom just go around the yes and then backwards and then up yes. and down and over and then over, you know. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, or or do one on one hand uh, on, on one drum and yeah. one hand on the other. So you're going. Heck yeah. Or yeah. even a symbol, right? You could do yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Even a symbol. Absolutely. There are no. There's no limits. limits. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it, that that that's a great exercise too. So those are called the bass drum substitutions. I love it. I mm-hmm. love it. So uh, you know, before we start uh, wrapping all this up, I do want to make sure. Like, so you're in New Jersey. I'm in New Jersey, Cherry Hill area. Was yeah, it? South Jersey, Cherry so, Hill. Um, are you accepting students? Yeah, I absolutely am. How, I teach a lot on Skype. Yeah. How do people uh, reach out to you to take lessons? They can reach me on uh, my website, samruttenberg.com. 
or I'll put e- all this info in the description. Right. Too, or everybody. email me. They can email me at the address that I, I gave you if you want to, if you can uh, put that down too. Because I will, yeah. that would be better, actually, John, because sometimes it's hard for me t- to get the uh, the messages from my website. Yeah. Um, yeah. So- and if anybody, if any of you are watching this and you do want to take lessons with Sam, if you're having a hard time getting in touch with him, send me a message and I'll, I'll, I'll hook you guys up. Thanks. Uh, thanks. And putting my personal email uh, would, would be fine. I'll do that for sure. Great. Yeah. Great. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have a lot of, a lot of awesome stuff to work through here. Yeah. Yeah. So part three. Awesome. Part- stuff. Thanks. Uh, make if sure you-, you guys watch the other parts if you haven't. Um, if you have one more minute, do, do we oh, have we another got time, man? Yeah. Do your thing. Yeah. We can do something on the pad again with substitutions. If you, if you make something up, Again, I'm, I'm going to put it down here so gotcha. you can see. But if you can make up something, anything, on the on the pad um, with with these substitutions, you can play right equals something, and left equals something. So right. let's let's pretend. Let's let's do um, the rights equal two eighth notes, and the left equals three triplets. So number one would be this. Okay. Which is one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a because the right equaled two eighth notes and the left equaled three triplets. So I went one and as the right. Oh. Two and a as the left. Three and as the next right. And four and a as the next left. Yeah. So it went one and two and a three and four and a right, left, right, left. Yeah. So, so that, that, <laughs> that opens up a whole. Yeah. Yeah. That just kind of like sealed the deal for me where like you can make it anything you want. Anything. If, if I, here's something I use a lot. I know this is kind of, this is fairly advanced, but if I do um, if I do tri- uh, the, the paradiddles, if I do the paradiddles, okay, number um, five. Yeah, number five. And again, I'm getting off the topic here. But what if I did the paradiddles as triplets? Mm-hmm. Okay. So as eighth notes, it's just one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And. But what if I did them as triplets? One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. Mm-hmm. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. Okay. So let's go back again and just play them as eighth notes again, but every time, again, here's another substitution. Every time you have a double, I'm going to put the opposite hand in between that double. Oh, cool. So I'm going to, yep. So I'm going to do, I'm going to play eighth notes. So one and two E and three and four E and one and two E and three. This, these are, these are paradiddles, but every time I see a double, I'm going to play the opposite hand in between. Mm -hmm. So I have one and two and three, one and two, three, four, one, two, three. So right, right, uh, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So, yeah. mm-hmm. so I Makes have perfect sense to me. Yeah. So I have one. Right, right, left, uh, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Okay, so that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, and that's a pattern right there. Like that's a pattern right there. So, but now, now let's play. Let's go back to playing them as triplets. So one and a two and a three and a four. And it's it would be great if you can tap your foot while you're doing this. I know this is harder. But it makes you a better player, and if you can out loud, the sky's the limit, really, um, um, for everybody out there. So I'm going to tap my foot. 
I'll do this on the hi hat. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but now, but now, just like I did with the eighth notes, and I put the opposite hand in between each double, let's do that with here with the triplets. One and two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and a. That's awesome. Yeah. So if I do that on the drums, this is just an example, but it's so cool to play that. If you're playing jazz. So I'm gonna play one, two, three, four, one, and then I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> and that was that was playing paradiddles, but with when I got to the double, I played an opposite hand. First, so let me go back and just play the the regular uh, uh, triplets without the double in between. One, two, and here, here's the uh, trip, uh, paradiddles as triplets. But now I'm going to play the double. I go fast. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's just an example. That's just one example of things you can do. If, if and we're you, still just on the first page. We're still on the first column. And we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're only on number five. We're we not even halfway number... through the first column. Right. right. So <laughs> again, this, this is such awesome stuff. If you, if you just substitute, substitute things. Here's another substitution. What if I did this like a partial triplet on the rights? And if I went one and a for the rights, one okay. and a, and then a full triplet for the lefts. So one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and because right is is a partial, just the mm -hmm. two triplets. One and a that's the right. And the, the left is the full triplet. Two and a. So one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a. So if I put that down one and a two and a three and a and I'm all I'm alternating now because I got two sticks. Right. One and a two and a one and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two three and a four and a one. One two one uh one two three four one two three four one. Number number two, uh number three would be this. Yeah. Uh, number five I mean, would be, be a drum fill by its on its again, own. Again, yes. I mean, and and this, and with all the limbs that you have and all the drums, it, it's just it, it's it opens up a whole a mm -hmm. whole the sky's the limit kind of thing. Um, number five is this. Yeah. You know so. Again, again uh, another another sub substitution could be: What if the rights were fours and the the uh, lefts were fives? So number one oh, would be yeah. this. <laughs> number number one would be this. One e and a two. One. So right, right, left, uh, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, wow. left, right, left. Because it's a five, it alternates, right? Right, yes. So number uh, five with the paradiddle would be this. Yeah. That would be the paradiddle. 
Very cool. Yeah. So again, if you just have uh, some imagination, you can do so much. Again, again with the feet, with the hands, with the substitutions, and this is all just like like John said, just uh, uh, the, the first few few exercises yeah. that, that we're on. So I pretty much you're just going to be uh, held back by your own creativity. So well, maybe Absolutely. not held back, but um, your own creativity is key here. And if you're having a hard time thinking up of your own ideas like this, then maybe it's time to get a teacher. Absolutely. Know? Yeah. Teachers, Absolutely. this is what this is what we do. You know, this that's type of right. Thing. Get that's the right. most out of every book you have. Right. The, the the main thing I think is to go back and and just try and think of things that are just very basic. Like when again, I I I think I've mentioned this before um in, in one of our sessions, John. But like when you're improvising, Joe taught me. You know, um, it's not about playing all around as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. It's it's about taking the simplest notes and try and trading tr a force with yourself. You know, so again, you can do it on the pad. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm going to just play the simplest notes, and and I'm also going to play rests. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three. Four, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and one, two, three, four, and two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah. You know, yeah, it, it's just triplets, eighth notes, and rests. You know, um, y you can do so much. Mm -hmm. And it, it, I think a lot of people can benefit from that because I think a lot of people have in their mind, oh, let me try and get everything I learned in in four bars and 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 just blast off and and play and and play as fast as I can. Use every fill you know in the next three measures. <laughs> right. It's it's more important to be a musician, and 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 sort of take a step back, relax, hold the sticks loosely, and and think of sim more simple notes. Again, it's harder to play slow. It's harder to play easy than it is fast and more difficult right and you know less is more right right less is more it takes discipline but yeah. that discipline w will take you really really far and people will say oh man he, that person's got a great sound listen to that sound yeah yeah i mean that it's just like what you said when bernard purdy gave you that lesson mm -hmm. he said can you can you play slow and then you did and he, he said can you play slow yeah <laughs> <laughs> can you play slower yeah he did that first day <laughs> right. I thought I was playing slow. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm like, you want me to play like 40 beats per minute? <laughs> exactly. It, it, you know, well, when I first had my uh, a lesson with Joe Morello, he said, uh, do this at 68. It was in his book. So his book, his first uh, uh, exercise in his master's studies book is this. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and so he said do it do it at 60 and i i didn't know i thought he meant quarter equals 60 yeah <laughs> <laughs> he meant eighth equals 60 oh, so wow. i went back i went back and uh, he, he said no 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 so no. you're at 30 <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I, I said, uh, what's wrong? He said, you're, you're doing it twice as fast as I wanted you to. I wanted you to do eighth equals 60. He wanted this. <laughs> One and two and three <laughs> and four and one and two, which is the way to play it. Three yeah. and because that's how you get these motions to play. Yeah. Yeah, it's you know. called master studies for a reason, you know. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, it's all preparation of strokes, and if you if you don't go slow, it, it'll be harder to learn that. For sure. You, yeah, for sure. So I think um, I think that's good for this lesson. I'm absolutely positive we're going to do a part four. Great, John. <laughs> and Great. you're going to be uh, we're going to do a brush lesson now. We have to, right? Yeah, yeah. Because we, we, um, we didn't we didn't talk about the samba or the or the bossa nova with the oh, with the brush. Do a Latin, we yeah, gotta do a Latin uh, lesson. Yeah, with the Latin kind of thing, which is a swishy like a cabasa. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, 
first off, thank you, Sam, for doing oh, my this. My pleasure, John. Thanks uh, for having me. I just want to say great it, it, being it here. really means a lot when I have uh, supporters like you who keep coming back and, and helping and just people that want to spread, you know, uh, the, the right information about drumming uh, really means a lot to me. And my channel is not monetized. We make no money. I don't pay anybody that's been on the channel. They do it because they want to help right. all of you get better. And I love yeah. that. And I'm really appreciative. So thank you. My pleasure. My yeah. pleasure. And thank you, everybody who's watching. <laughs> yes. But, um, <laughs> thank you, everybody. Yeah. So that's Thanks all we got. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, remember to subscribe. Hit up Sam uh, for hinge sticks. If you want some lessons. Or if you just want to chat, he's a nice dude. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thank Thanks, you so John. much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.